Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Tomasini from Spinal Performance, and today I'm going to be talking about flat feet. So I have this patient that she was jumping rope and she started to feel pain on the inside of her ankle. When I started to talk to her and we examined her ankle and her feet, we noticed that she had flat foot. Okay, so what is that? So what that is why uh, when you don't have this arch right here of on your feet. And what that means is that your feet will be flat on the floor when you put weight on it, and that will cause eversion of the foot, so the foot will turn in. That's called foot pronation. And that can lead to tension on the muscles and tendons that attach to this area. So when she was jumping, instead of the foot going like this, it was going in, like that. And that caused tension on the tendons, and that lead to a strain and pain on this area right here. Specifically, the posterior tibialis muscle that attaches, goes from here and attaches there. The flexion digitorium, this is the muscle that curves your toes. And the flexor halisus, this is the muscle that curves the big toe. When you have this, that can lead to problems on the knees because most of the time when your feet invert, they go in like this, your knees will go in as well. That put pressure and tension on the tendons of the knees. That can cause problems of the hip because the hips are going to be in an awkward position. And that can cause problems on the low back because most of the time your pelvis will tilt anteriorly and that can cause pressure there. Now, a lot of people think just by putting an orthotic or a foot support on the arch will solve this condition. That can help where it won't solve the condition. So we need to strengthen uh, the muscles uh, that are weak. We need to stretch the muscles that are tight. And we need to realign the whole kinetic chain. So by that, I mean the foot, the ankle, the knee, and the pelvis. So I'm going to give you some tips to do that. Okay, so one of the things that you can start to do to improve uh, this condition is cross friction massage, okay? If you have pain around this area, so you have to massage that tendon going down. So the tendon goes like this, so you're going to go across the fibers of that tendon. You can do that for uh, three to five minutes. When you feel that the, you, the pain is better or that it's getting me a little bit numb, that's okay. If you feel more pain, then stop and put some ice, okay? So you're going to do the massage uh, on the tendon, right there on the fibers of uh, that ligament. And you're going to massage the posterior tibialis muscle. That muscle goes around this area right here. And you're going to look for knots, put some pressure in it, and massage that area. Pretty simple to do. Then, uh, another thing that you can do to work on your feet is on the arch, uh, we're going to start to work on the intrinsic muscles of your feet. So the first one that you're going to do is you're going to just lift your toes this way. And you see uh, when I lift my toes, the arch is going a little bit higher. Okay. You can do 10 to 15 repetitions of that three times. Another exercise is with a towel and you're going to put your foot on a towel and you're going to start to curl your toes and try to grab the towel. So, small towel, put it flat, and then you start doing this, and this works on the foot, on the arch right here, okay? You can do, again, uh, 10 repetitions, 50 repetitions, three sets, okay? That's one of the first exercises that we're going to do. The next exercise is foot eversion. So when you're standing with flat foot, your foot are everted, pronated like this. So you want to do the opposite. You want to start and evert the foot. You can do this sitting. You want to put all the weight on the outside of your foot like this. Or you can do that standing, going like this. And even you can do with one feet if you have the balance a little bit more difficult, and you go like this. Pretty simple to do. Another exercise that you can do to improve the strength of the tibialis posterior muscle is with a tennis ball. You're going to put the ball in between your feet, right there, around the calcaneus bone, right there. And you're going to squeeze that ball, and you're going to go up. Like this. You can do this standing, so put the ball, in the middle right there on the calcaneus bone and then you're going to go up just like that do three sets 
10 to 15 repetitions. Now for this exercise, you're going to go to look for some stairs and we're going to work the posterior tibialis muscle. Uh, pretty simple exercise to do as well. So, going to go on the ball of your feet and you're going to go up and down. First you want to stretch, stretch the muscle, stretch your calves, stretch the soleus muscle, stretch the posterior tibialis and then after that you're going to go all the way up and down. Okay? That's for the tibialis uh, posterior muscle. Then we're going to do a second one. In this one you're going to go up and invert the foot. Okay? So this one is better if you do it with one foot. So we're going to do this. So see that I'm going up and inverting the foot and I'm going down. So that's working my posterior tibialis muscle. Do again, three sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. So those are some simple exercises that you can do at home to improve the arch of your foot, to decrease the pain and to strengthen. Now you can go to a store and get some foot orthotics to support the arch of your foot, or you can go to a podiatrist and make some custom made foot orthotics for you to have some support of the arch. But it's important that you strengthen your feet and work with the alignment of your ankles, your knees, your hips, and pelvis. And that's as a chiropractor, I can help you with that. So uh, stay tuned for more. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us.